accidental shaving incident. Sorry. Day three, keto on $2 a day challenge. Last night, before I went to bed, I had a glass of water with some salt in it. Now, I couldn't afford salt, so I sort of broke the $2 a day aspect there, but I feel like if you needed to get salt, you could probably pinch some from a cafe or something. It made me feel heaps better. There was, I started to have like a little bit of a headache, and it's partly because of the keto flu and because I'm not eating enough calories and whatnot. What's interesting though is that I got on the scale this morning and I weighed 85.1, exactly the same as I weighed yesterday. Something's happening that I don't understand what's going on because I'm definitely eating heaps less calories. Maybe the salt water helped retain some of my weight for me. I'm gonna eat all three of my portions for breakfast uh, just to try it out. So effectively that will be like a big intermittent fast. So I ate two portions for lunch yesterday, drank some salt water before I went to bed, uh, and now I'm having three portions all in one go for breakfast. The rest of the day is literally going to be me doing some work on the blog, doing a whole bunch of things. I hope you stick around. It's It'll be fun. I'm going to keep this one relatively short, get straight to it, and we'll see what my blood ketones are right now. 3.8. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever been that high. Yeah, 3.8. That is definitely in ketosis. That's pretty good, I'm happy with that. All right, so let's eat some food. Three all in one go, and we'll see how that goes. They were starting to taste pretty bland without salt or pepper, um, so I did it. Salt and pepper is usually found most places and you could probably get it for free if you needed to from McDonald's or something. The three portions was pretty intense. Like that's a lot of calories all in one hit. Um, and I feel really full right now. So that's my entire day's worth of food all in one meal. So I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to eat again. Maybe this is the best way to do it. Reading through the comments on my previous videos and seeing that most people would probably eat all of the meals all in one go. If you're restricting calories, you may as well do it all in one go and then spend the next part of your day just intermittent fasting. So I'm really excited to see how today goes and I'm probably gonna check in later tonight. I will see you then. I just finished my workout, hence this workout shirt. It felt pretty good, it felt pretty good. I feel really good now. I think doing one meal a day, uh, if you're trying to cut calories, doing one meal a day is perfectly fine. Trying to space them out, three meals a day, it sort of wasn't working because you feel very deprived and then you sort of feel sluggish. The past couple of days I've felt relatively average. I feel really good now and I think that's completely down to keto flu as you might call it. So between now and this morning, I put up uh, three different recipes. Um, I put together a list of, of my top ketogenic recipes as well. So I'll link all of this in the description. So go down below. I'm having a good time. After the workout, like the workout felt pretty good, but I really wish I probably could eat something afterwards. So maybe I should time the workout more around the food. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is my cat, Gemma. Isn't she a beautiful cat? Hey. So with one meal a day, it's sort of hard to record anything meaningful. But I want to keep this one short. So uh, subscribe, see the one tomorrow. On Monday, I will be doing a complete results. Uh, so that'll include uh, my weight loss, my total ketones. It'll include a uh, post on the blog all about this. I, it'll include the recipe that I've been eating. Um, and it'll include everything that will help you be able to do the same. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Aaron, I'm Fat for Weight Loss, and I will see you tomorrow.